Louisiana Beer Reviews. Seasick Crocodile. Um, this is from Krebs Brewing Company, McAllister, Oklahoma. Brew, and it's a uh, part of the uh, their beer line is called Prairie Artisan Ales. Seasick Crocodile. A sour ale with cranberries, ginger, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Or as a legal disclosure says, malt beverage with natural flavor. So these are running about $3 a can. It's left over from Christmas 2023, as you can see. Like a Christmas sweater, which are always nice to see. It's got St. Nicholas, St. Nicholas being chased by a seasick alligator. And it shows a stocking, a gift, some cash wrapped up, a snowman, a Christmas tree, a broken light, um, broken a crisp glass Christmas ornament, a sleigh with gifts in it, a dancing Santa like down here, or one of his helpers doing a somersaults, yeah. Yep. Okay, so it's got the date on the can, guys. Some people don't know how to put the date. This one is clearly labeled, which is very helpful. Now, being canned, it should be fine, and being 6.3 should be even finer. Now, if it was a 4.2% light lager, I wouldn't, I wouldn't drink it. Okay. <clears throat> We get their beers here in this town, but I didn't see this one. I bought this one in a different town. Okay, it's got a pinkish, milky kind of color, hard to describe, yeah. There's a definite pink hue to it, and a slightly pinkish white head, and it's translucent, but it's definitely not transparent. All right, so sour ale. These things usually come across to me more like a tart ale. more tart than sour. Okay, um, cranberries, ginger, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Gotta remember that. Mm. Nice smell, first whiff. A lot of cinnamon and nutmeg. A little shade of fruit, perhaps, and a lot of bread, like Christmas breads that you get. <sighs> Smells nice, cheers. Well, here we are in spring, so I think the Christmas beer should be coming out any time now. Where are the pumpkin beers? They're late. All right. Um, yeah, sour, uh, maybe like sourdough bread a little bit, but... Um, Mostly it's tart from the cran cranberries. And it's got that ginger, gingerness to it, spiciness to it. I like their beers, but they're usually so expensive I don't buy them. Um, but I did buy this one. Oh. Did the age hurt it? No way. Of course, now if I was trying it fresh, a week old, maybe I'll give it an even higher score. But maybe this gave it time, like a gumbo, for the ingredients to meld, you know, me meld together, I mean to say. Like gumbo fresh is good, but if you let it sit, set in the fridge for two or three days, it's a lot better because the flavors work together. It, it's like it cures, and this one has been curing. Medium body, dry finish, sweetness. It's a dry, cool day, okay? By the way, very sunny. I'm gonna say two, I'm gonna say three out of five sugar cubes. It's pretty sweet, but it's not overly sweet. Three out of five bitterness. <laughs> Um, 
one out of five hop cones. Tartness, four out of five warheads. And sourness is probably like two and a half out of five sour cream dollops. They're giving it 76 on untapped. And as usual, Beer Oak is about 10 points ahead of them, but they, it means the same thing. They're at 87, very good. So they're, that would be just good for me, but very good, yes. Uh, it's better than very good. I'm not really somebody that cares much for tart beers or so-called sours, but I mean, they're usually fine. It's just not a style I care for, but uh, certainly don't mind it. It's like those chili pepper beers, they're fine. I just never have a urge to drink one. If I see them, I'll pick them up, try them. This is definitely an A, 95 out of 100, 9.5 out of 10, a most excellent uh, flavored malt beverage, which is legally what it is. So uh, I have done many flavored malt beverages on this uh, channel, you know, macro, middle crow, micro, this would be more like Middle Crow, Prairie Artisan, Krebs, they're pretty widespread these days. All right, so Lazy L.A. Bon Ton Relay, a most excellent beer, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Oklahoma and take a brewery tour.